Windows comes with a built-in free antivirus called Windows Defender and it is always running and you can go and open it by clicking on the search tab and you type Windows Defender and you will be able to open it you can always go and perform a scan check your status perf device performance and health device security etc and this will open a certain panel and from here you can check and even make a scan however there is no harm in installing a third part antivirus there are a lot of antiviruses online some of them are for free and some of them comes in a trial version for 30 day and after the end of trial of the trial the period you will have to purchase the antivirus if you want to keep using in this video we are sticking only to three free versions of three different antiviruses and we have selected them because we realized that it doesn't slow your computer and as soon as you install it and you run a scan you still can use your computer accordingly so we're gonna see the first one in which the options are manually and they, they have to be performed manually and the others the actions are being performed automatically by the antivirus so let's go and open our browser and we're gonna type super anti spyware download make sure that you open www.superantispyware.com so that you are not being redirected to a to a page where there is a virus or something this is the official page of the antivirus and you're gonna click on this logo to go to the home page and from here as you can see guys there is portable version there is educational enterprise licensing there is professional edition with a free trial and there is the free edition so we're gonna click to download the free edition you will have just to wait a few seconds the download start and you will have to save your file after installing it the icon of the antivirus looks like this and to run it you will have to click on it and you will have to click to check for updates personally I do this regularly I check for updates once a week and when it's done it's done and then you can just click OK and it doesn't take more than three to four minutes after that I go to scan this computer and then I can start a complete scan this antivirus gives me the possibility that I can keep working normally and whenever I detected something abnormal or when I want to run a scan I can do it I do it once a week I run a scan on my computer to clean if there is anything however please note that in this antivirus you will have to take some actions manually like you will have to tell the antivirus if you want to keep the file which contains a virus or you want to put it in quarantine or you want just to delete it so for instance we'll just stop our scan and we will just close it and we'll close all of it the second antivirus which you can install and which will provide you a high level of protection it is Avast for Avast there is the, the version which protects your computer and there is also an extension which can be installed to your or added to your browser and it protects you protects you when you are browsing or surfing on internet so let's open www.avas.com so from here you can just free, click free download and you can also select it from here then we'll be redirected to select the install should start in like a few seconds so we're gonna save and as soon as you have saved the file you can just go run it and go through the installation Avast give you the possibility that you will not have to do anything manually Avast will do everything for you automatically from A to Z and rarely when it comes to ask you if you want to put in quarantine a certain file because it contains a virus or you want to delete it however Avast relies on your internet to do its updates so make sure that you allow it through your firewall if you have set up your firewall to stop connections you have to make sure that you allow it to do its updates as you see here there is as I said the version for secure browser so you can always select yes install of a secure browser and you just click install and this provide a full comp full protection for your computer and your browser the last antivirus which we'll see in this video is called Avira and it's written as it said and make sure that you open https www.avira.com and from there we'll be able to download our antivirus this antivirus 
I would suggest to you to install it if you have more than 4 gigabit RAM because it requires a certain level of RAM and also hard disk. However, it, pro it provides an amazing security level and you will not find problems with it. However, if you are using cracked, cracked softwares or if you are downloading some films online, be careful because sometimes it, when it detects a virus, it will delete the whole file automatically. So we're gonna just click download. So we're gonna just click to download. However, as you see, there is the free security suit and you have the internet security which costs you 35.95 and you have the prime version which costs you a yearly subscription which costs you a bit more and I believe that this uh, this amount of money for yearly protection it is really nothing and better than being attacked or having problems so we're gonna just click yes I will go for free version so you will have just to wait a few seconds to download and then and then as it is explained by step by step you have to run the program and install it so let's do that let's close this browser run so as soon as you have accepted and installed the virus the antivirus sorry as soon as you have accepted the, the to install the antivirus it will guide you through the installation process and then with Avira you will, have, you will not need to perform any manual actions except that you have to click sometimes OK because you want to keep that file in quarantine or you want to delete the same as Avast. However, make sure that your computer is always linked to internet so that the updates are done correctly once a week or even twice a week so that the software is able to do its updates and make sure that your firewall is not stopping the updates from being performed. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.